Billy, what's wrong with my to-do list? <laughs> oh, so I, it, to me, I think it's just a reframing of to-do list. To-do sounds like just a list of things that you need to do. And listen, we have a lot of things to do, but I kind of looked at it like, what is it that we need to complete today? What do we need to prioritize? So I came up with this idea called a chips list. So the C stands for complete. What are the three things that we absolutely positively need to complete today? They cannot wait until tomorrow. You have to get them done today. You're not doing anything else until those three things are done. They have to get done today. So that's the complete list. And then you have your H, which stands for hooray, because you should celebrate when you complete those things. So just what's what's a pat on the back? Maybe it's a phone call to a friend. Maybe you're going to watch your favorite show on Netflix or what have you. Maybe you're going to spend some quality time with, with somebody. But you know, it's it's something where you celebrate. I always caution people not to use food or alcohol as their hooray because it warps the relationship with food and alcohol. So just kind of be cautious of that. And then IPS stands for in progress or start. What are things that you could move the progress bar along that are in those categories? What's something you could start knowing that if they are in the IPS category, that that means that at some point in time, you are going to move them up to complete. So we're not starting something that we don't complete. Or if we're looking at the IPS and we're saying, you know what? I started this. This is not serving me. I'm going to cross this out and get it out of here because it. I don't need to finish it. It's not something that is ever going to be of importance. So your IPS might be kind of like the to-do list, that portion of it, but we don't want to, we don't want that to get too long because then it becomes daunting. It becomes overwhelming. And to me, that's oftentimes what a to-do list does. So when we look at a, a chips list, we're putting those, we're prioritizing those three things, five things, no more than five, those things that need to get done today, those are the priority. So that's why I like using a chips list as opposed to a to-do list.